All right, we are back with this scripts tutorial walkthrough, and we are on step two, upgrading your controller. Uh, so let's dive into it right away. Okay, in this tutorial section, we'll talk about a strategic object called the room controller. Yes, this is very important. Um, this is a structure in all the rooms that you can control, and the higher your controller level, uh, the more structures that you can build. Uh, so one of the objectives, especially in the early game of Scrapes, is to upgrade your controller uh, as fast as possible. Uh, so to do this, we're going to take one of our worker creeps and we're going to have it upgrade our controller uh, instead of going and bringing energy back to the spawn. Uh, so we're going to call it Upgrader1. And first, just like before, we're going to create it uh, using the console. So go over to the console, paste it in, hit enter, and now our spawn is creating our upgrader. Okay, so right now the upgrader is acting like it's a harvester, uh, but we don't want it to do that, so we're going to differentiate between the different creep roles. Uh, and so to do that, each creep has a memory object, and that's a place that we can store some information about our creep uh, between ticks, uh, so we can remember you know, what each creep is supposed to be doing. Uh, in this case, they just want us to save you know, what role is this creep uh, to each one of our creeps. Uh, so to do that, we're just going to set these strings in the memory uh, that we called on the property role, and we're just going to execute this in the console. So I, pay, I copied two of them, didn't I? Uh, we can run both of them at once. Yeah, that's fine. Oh yes, yeah, so you can check the creep's memory over on the right-hand side where we get information about our creep, uh, so you can inspect the memory. Is that where you check it on the right-hand side, or do I have to hit this memory tab down here? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but before we leave this pop-up, we should probably copy this code. Uh, and I'm guessing this is going to be the code that tells our different types of creeps. Oh no, this is just the code for the upgrader. We're going to, uh, in a different step, tell the upgrader to run the upgrader code. So here we want to create a new module called role.upgrader. Got it. So we will go back over to the script. Role.upgrader. Enter and then paste the code. All right, great, let's commit that. And in our main module, yes, we must now update this to make sure that our harvester creep runs the harvester code and our upgraded creep runs the upgrader code. So we'll copy it, go over to main, replace all of that code, and you can see just like before, um, we're importing this upgrader code by using this uh, require syntax. And then so down in our game loop, we can call roll.upgrader if the creep is an upgrader, and we know that from its value in memory. Or if it's a harvester, we run the harvester code. And before I commit that, let me see how I can figure out who's who. We can tell by the name, but of course the name isn't going to do anything because we're checking the memory here. Oh yeah, you can view the memory over here, and that opens up uh, down below next to our console. So our upgraded creep, you can see, is selected on the left, and we have to expand with this little caret the memory. And then you can see the role property is set to upgrader. Uh, and you can also change this uh, while the game is running from this memory tab. So I could type like harvester in here, then I would save it and it would start acting like a harvester, even though its name would still be upgraded one. Uh, but let's not do that. We'll go back to our main and finally commit that code that we pasted. Okay, so this is our upgrader, and it is full of energy from the source. And you can see that it is now moving to the controller, hopefully, and it will start upgrading it. And if you're wondering why our harvester here has stopped moving, uh, it's because it's full of energy, 
and the spawn is also full of energy, so it doesn't need any more, and it doesn't know what to do. Okay, uh, so perfect, we're now upgrading our controller. And it was very quick to get from uh, level 1 to level 2. So we are now controller level 2 in this room. And here, important reminder, um, you need to, every once in a while, upgrade your controller uh, within 20,000 game ticks, or else it'll start to decay and it'll lose a level, and you don't want that to happen. Well, and that was it for step two, upgrading your controller. Um, check me out in the next video, and we'll go over tutorial step three, building structures.